close partnership between IT and clinical staff is essential for translating normal therapy into tele-rehab. Often therapy cannot be delivered using only one video camera. For tele-rehab, we also use a document camera and three applications. Manycam for multiple camera views, a two-way real-time interactive whiteboard called Bayboard, and Bandicam to capture and replay video of the patient during the therapy session. Our therapists are going to demonstrate how these are used. When our speech therapist needs to show pictures and documents to the patient during a therapy session, she uses a document camera as it provides a standard USB connection, is inexpensive, flexible and adjustable and has an anti-glare cover which makes glossy pictures easy to see. Today what we're going to be doing is a naming assessment. So Stuart, I'm going to show you some pictures and get you to tell me their names. Our occupational therapists can use the document camera to demonstrate how to use home therapy apps during a video conferencing session. So Stuart, on your iPad you should have an app called Stroke Link which looks like this here. Within the app there is um, a range of programs and one of them is called the GRASP program and that's got a whole range of exercises for your arm and hand. So let's go through some of the exercises now together and then if you could do them each day by yourself as homework practice that would be great. So this exercise here is the pouring exercise. So I'll show you a video of it which demonstrates what I'd like you to do. To manage these different video streams, we use ManyCam. We chose this because it allowed us to use multiple video sources and was compatible with Video, our video conferencing application. And what's the name of this picture? That's a oh, thing you clean your teeth with. I'm going to show you a picture of me again. It's a brush. Toothbrush. Yep, very good, well done. The therapist may need a way for the patient to read, write and receive feedback in real time during the therapy session. We looked for low cost and simple to use products that were already available on the market and chose an interactive whiteboard called Bayboard. This allows the patient to join a session with just a simple tap of an icon. Bayboard works well for us because you can free write or download forms onto this program. It's easy to use, inexpensive and operates in a secure environment. So we're just going to flip to the next page and we've got the question on its own there. Sure. Okay. Can you circle yes or no? You can download standardised assessments with which the patient can interact. So the task we're going to do now, Stuart, is called the trail making test. So I'll just import it onto your whiteboard. Now what I'd like you to do is, with your stylus as quickly as you can, connect all the numbers which are within the circles in ascending order. Now on your whiteboard, Stuart, can you please draw a clock? Um, put all the numbers in and set the time to 10 past 8. The therapist may also need a way to record the patient and replay a video for feedback during the video conference. For this we use a screen capture program called Bandicam. Bandicam makes it easy to capture and review video. You can watch a video and talk over the top of it. Okay Stuart, so I'm going to get you to walk towards me. I'm going to video that as you're doing it. And then um, if you have a sit down, I'll play it back to you and we can look at it together. Okay, so when you're ready, start walking. Okay, thank you. Have a sit down and I'll show it to you, okay? This is a video of you walking and you can see that you're not taking very much weight through your right leg. So our therapy focus is going to be on trying to get you to take more weight through your right leg. This is just a taste of the applications and hardware available to help you with your clinical work. Mm -hmm.